The Feeling Imagination A good friend of mine, we'll call her Frida, recently found out that her car was on the verge of breaking down, needing a new transmission, new suspension, and brakes. But these repairs would more than total the car's worth. Because she's nearly 80, her friends and family, along with me, pleaded with her to not drive the dang thing as it just wasn't safe. Frida gave in, and in the next few days came to me very excited about being able to get a monthly city bus pass discounted for seniors. I just love the bus, she'd say, and then head out all over town with this newfound freedom. Her enthusiasm for having that freedom impressed me. A few weeks later, Frida excitedly strolled up to me and said, I've got some great news. A friend of mine has three cars and is letting me use one of them. She's paying the insurance for me. She had also talked to another friend who owned a garage and had said he would give her 500 bucks for her old car. But, she said, I decided it felt better to give it to Father Joe's Ministries. They'll tow it, you know. At first I wondered why she didn't want the $500 since she's on a very restrictive fixed income. But then Frida's story was dawning on me. She was doing what felt abundant and right. And the bus pass to car transition was equally interesting. She was so into the feeling of freedom with the bus pass, she ended up magnetizing even more freedom in the form of a new car. Frida's story is a perfect example of how feelings and the imagination team up together to create a personal reality. And it truly is a team effort. Imagination without feeling, light daydreaming or escapist fantasizing, does little to move the physical events in any particular direction except maybe to create more opportunities for escape. But imagination with feeling is a whole other animal, and I know this from personal experience, but now and then it's a good idea to remind myself of it because it's a two-edged sword to say the least. The universe is a neutral medium. As Manuel Ruiz Jr., the Toltec shaman, says, Life is a canvas. You hold the paints and the paintbrushes. Make your life a masterpiece. The universe is constantly responding to your decisions, your desires, your fears, but most directly to your feeling imagination. Quantum physics became famous for the discovery that the observer, in an experiment, changes the outcome of an experiment by simply observing it. The implications of this discovery are vast. This ultimately means that you, simply by the act of perception, change the way atomic and subatomic particles behave. Research done by the Heart Math Institute has further shown that imagination directly changes DNA and is able to turn gene expressions on or off. Add to this the discoveries of Dr. Masuru Emoto that water responds directly to humans' feelings and that the human body is 93% water and that negative human emotions disrupt the geometries of water and positive emotions enhance the geometries of water, well, you've got a deep connection there between how you feel and what manifests in your life. The way we change our inner emotional state is by purposely using our imagination. Think about that. Now consider Frida's inner life. She lost her means of transportation, which equated to a loss of freedom to her. Rather than feeling restricted, she chose to feel freedom and got herself a bus pass that made her feel even more free. As she rode around on the bus, she continued marveling at the freedom she had, and, bippity-boppity-boo, she manifested a car. The power of the human mind is in the imagination. The imagination is the direct subatomic driver of physical reality, and feelings are the amplifiers of imagination. Note that nowhere here are we talking about doing anything to make stuff happen. We're just imagining with feeling and then responding. If that ends up being action taken, then it is action in alignment with how the universe is responding to the feeling imagination. To only take action in order to make something happen is an uphill battle because there isn't any power of imagination or feeling other than maybe frustration, which just slows things down. So, sit quietly in your heart space. Imagine what your life could look like. Feel what it would be like. And before you know it, you'll be dancing in that world, and it didn't feel like you had to do anything. 
You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.